<coughs> Hello, my name is Michael Keneally and I'm making this video about Saturn in your astrology chart. And I think I approach the subject with some trepidation. Saturn is, after all, Lord of Karma. Saturn lays heavy scripts upon us. And we can't duck them. And it's so useful to know what Saturn scripts are described for your life in your astrology birth chart. It's so useful to know what the energy of Saturn is predictively. For example, your first Saturn return at age 28, 29, when you're called to stand up in the world more, to take on more responsibility, so that you can fulfill the special spark, the special destiny that your soul chose. And then there's the second Saturn return at age 59, where again, Lord Shani, Saturn, Lord of Karma, calls you to ensure that you are on course, otherwise your life must change. And if you duck the changes, then you don't fulfil your destiny. You live the life of a sort of repetitive automaton not really being the authentic you. And above all, the Sade Sate, the seven and a half year period when Saturn transits across your birth moon. And that really does need to be understood and decoded. We feel it intensely at the start of the period, the middle of the period and the end of the period. It's a true call to leave behind the false path. And often the way we hear the call is to suffer, to go through difficulties, to have separations and deaths in our life with the divine intention of putting us on course. And indeed I do do Sade Sate mini courses and mini readings. Look at my website, for example, starwheelastrology.com if you want to do one of those. So the main theme of this brief video is Saturn in our birth charts. And it's, you know, it's a long-term task to really understand what your Saturn destiny means. Because it operates at deep levels. And so you have to decode Saturn by sign, by house, and by aspect. And so, to briefly mention my own case, Saturn is in Leo, where Leo is the sign of the Son and the Father, and I didn't have one. And so I have a destiny to try and become my solar self, my own Father. Saturn is in the second house, now, Vedic astrology has a magnificent astrology of what each house means. So one of the meanings is difficult karmas around childhood. And they're the story that put in place my life. Also, second house is mouth. And so, for example, if you have sat in the second house, you may have issues with teeth and gums. It's useful to have these perceptions at the different levels. And then there's aspects, and my Saturn is conjunct Venus, which can mean difficulties with issues of love, and yet aiming for great commitment in love. So let's look a little bit about the meaning of Saturn and give some examples. So first of all, as I often do, I want to go to the myth behind Saturn. Well, basically, um, in Greek myth, the sky god was Uranus, and Uranus was married to Gaia, the earth goddess, and Uranus was utterly dictatorial, soared above the needs of their children. And so, in fact, 
Gaia persuaded one of the children, Saturn, you know, protected him from the father, had him brought up in secret, and then persuaded him to rebel against the tyranny of the father Uranus. And so Saturn castrated his father. And where the severed genitals fell on the earth, the Furies were born. And the Furies implacably pursue us through our lives. Read the myth of Oedipus. And where the severed genitals fell on the water, Aphrodite, Venus, goddess of love, was born. But anyway, Kronos, or Saturn as the Romans called him, took over as the chief god, if you like. And a golden age was said to come into place. Remember, Saturn is an agricultural deity. He's all about reaping in the Greek, the Roman, in the Vedic mythologies. And that's an important clue. Saturn is about reaping. We can have terrible reaping, the grim reaper, or we can have golden reaping. And which we have depends a lot on how we handle the Saturn script defined in our astrology. And so, horrifically, Saturn, Kronos, started to devour his children by Rhea. And this was a tyranny, in a sense, of suppression of creation, of suppression of instincts. And so Rhea, in secret, reared one of the children, Zeus. She managed to you know, feed a decoy to Kronos, who devoured the decoy, a boulder in fact. And Zeus arose and overthrew Saturn. He cast him into Tartarus. Endless imprisonment. And so you get the idea that Saturn is reaping. That we can't evade the call of Saturn. And how we handle it on that depends the success of our life. So let's look at a few Saturn manifestations. So negatively, and Saturn can be strong or weak, but negatively, Saturn is the significator of our fate, the term of our life, our longevity. And negatively, he can indicate poverty in our life, areas of ugliness or perversity, sickness, old age and death, bad luck misfortune, bad karma, unfortunate scripts in our destiny. And so negatively we can experience Saturn as the miser who causes pessimism, restriction and ill fortune, limit, handicap, slowness, everything held up. And so we can go on. I've written a blog about this so if you look uh, you know, below the YouTube, you'll see the blog address. Go on my WordPress Starwheel blog and read in much more detail. Not that a blog can have enough detail. You need a reading or a course to even begin that. So Saturn essentially is sorrow, separation and death when he's negative. But often, what we see as negative has a divine purpose of separating us from a life phase or a life situation that we just should no longer be in. Possibly shouldn't have been in the, in the first place. But possibly we were fated to be in it to learn through dealing with difficult karma. So let's look at positive Saturn, which again can be strong or weak. So positive Saturn brings us great reward after often periods of hard learning, hard effort, practical realism, perseverance and patience, honouring the needs of structure 
And if you think you can get away with not honouring these Saturn qualities, then you're simply stoking up endless problems for yourself and those you love and for future lifetimes. So positive Saturn brings benefits at different levels. For example, at the level of thinking, he can bring ambition, long-term determination, the ability to structure, to organize, to strategize your future so as to succeed, promotion, the rewards of hard work. So I've given you a small indication of the positive or negative sides of Saturn and there's more in the blog but what I want to talk about is well first of all a very brief summary and then how Saturn gets on with the other planets in your chart. So briefly Saturn's negative scripts are restrictive life definitions restrictive definitions of who you are may be imposed by a parent or both parents. Not the real you at all. Not the person you were born to be. Resistances, damaging inherited models, failure, fears, insecurities, worries, wounds. Denial, really, of facing the challenges in your life. So you just turn out to be a robot sitting in front of the television or something. Going to the golf club. But positively, Saturn says connect with the pain. Gain wisdom through that. Deal with it. Move towards success. So he's our healing master teacher. Befriend your demons of shame and secrecy so that you can stand as the person you actually were meant to be. Stand beneath the glory of the sun. In some senses, Saturn is the enemy of the sun. The two don't get on. So let's look at some of the possible relationships between Saturn and the other planets. So as I said, there's more, much more in the blog and of course there's far more if you have a reading for me or do one of my astrology courses. So first of all, Mercury. Well, basically, it is very valuable to look at how Saturn falls in your chart to understand what effect he will have on your communication. So for example, he can make you communicate in quite a formal way and so you know for example if you write poetry it might be in the, like the form of a sonnet or very formal and indeed Saturn can shame Mercury and there's a whole system for working out the relationship between each of the planets what each of them does to the other and so you could actually feel blocked or ashamed of communicating and if so, that needs to be healed. Then if we look at Jupiter, now Jupiter is our sense of purpose, our sense of expansion. But Saturn can shame Jupiter in your birth chart and so distort you into reception of an imprisoning dogmatic spiritual form which doesn't allow the real you to flower at all. Saturn can transit your Jupiter, like Sat I have Saturn conjunct Jupiter at the moment and I'm being required to harness lots of expansion that's going on, dot all the I's, cross the T's. Saturn conjunct Venus can bring in ruinous lack of self-respect, a self-fulfilling prophecy that you are not worthy. Mars can trash Saturn, or Saturn can trash Mars. If Mars trashes your Saturn, you'll just you know, be contemptuous of necessary structure. And so your life will be wrecked. Your family will be wrecked. So, so the ideal is to develop a Saturn that is proud of discipline and structure. So 
um, consider having one of my mini readings or mini courses on Sade Sate, or have a full reading or do one of my Western astrology courses or Vedic astrology courses because the role of Saturn in your life does need to be understood and the understanding can bring about healing and success. Thank you.